Oh my god, it's the crew. It's the crew. They look awesome. Where the hell have you been this whole time, motherfucker? It's Mary and Orpheus. Oh, looks so good. Oh my god, Aldrin, Sokika. Remember when I said that something big was coming, that there was gonna be this big payoff for all the setup, all the bullshit? Well, we're finally gonna get that in this week's episode of Rosie Recapture titled Restart. A very interesting name, not really sure why they called it that. Anyways, I'm really excited about this one and I just wanna get right into it. So let's start with the reactions. Thank you so much. Thanks to you. Oh, look, she's so adorable. She really thinks she's gonna make some change. That's funny. Port. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. They're like, honey, we're not doing anything, okay? The bad course of action. It's going to take time, but by increasing. Oh, God, he's so gross. What's with that animation? I'm quite serious about the relief program. That's the reason people will be so drawn to your ideas. So Walter's like, don't do this, it'll take time? What a moron. Till we save Sucker. Oh, yeah, back to this wonderful scene. Keep helping me. Fuck, should I do this? I don't know. Big brother! Big brother! Oh god, it's like Yu-Gi-Oh! again! They've copied that show twice! Big brother! Big brother! Oh my god, they've copied Yu-Gi-Oh! so many times. So do I. If you keep this up, the trailer's gonna be full of str- So, holy crap. So, every time Ash has looked at Rosé, he's seen his brother. So, it literally is like when Lelouch told Guilford that you have to see me as Cornelia. The effect worked exactly the same way. That's why he didn't recognize Raspberry. But wait, why would he not recognize Raspberry? That's really weird. He just missed her. Damn. Deceive me by posing as my brother. That's what I can't forgive. <laughs> is she really surprised, though? He's just gonna leave? All right. The second I was worried... <laughs> <laughs> Back to the sex dungeon. <laughs> You'd do anything for him, even if it meant getting torn apart. But that really isn't your business. Those are shitty monitors for like 2000, what, 27? But this is no way to con- Wait a minute. He said in the last episode they were going to bring in someone else. I guess not. If you don't mind. It's up to you whether you come or not. <laughs> it's also funny that he said, like, this is not a way to treat people like this or not to have her hung up like that. Again, proving that whole thing was pointless from last episode. These people are so dumb. God, I have so many things to say, all right? So, like I said, a Ash leaving, fine, whatever. At least they revealed how the Gias command worked. I still have questions, but BTN. Also, with Sakya, he's like, I'm going to bring in someone more special to you. And we don't see Natalia. So who else could it have been? Besides, of course, Sakuya. I mean, uh, Sakura. So what a tease for no payoff. Next problem. He literally knocks her off the harness and says, that's no way to conduct stuff. So they just proved that the fan service was pointless. I, I can't even with these people. And now he has to go in there and do the Gyas experiments on them? Holy crap. They are doing terrible damage control from the last episode. This one's so stupid. By the way, Ash is going to come back and probably save her anyways. They're trying to create some dynamic tension. There's no tension here. It's bullshit. At least Sakura's having fun, so I respect that. This intro almost over yet? God, I hate this thing so much. It's not cool. It's dumb. It's been dumb since the first showing of it. And of course, the intro hasn't changed at all. What a fucking lie. Ah, uh, here she goes, the big booby princess. Also, the fan service hasn't been that bad yet in the episode. We got one ass shot. That's about it. The outfit itself is bullshit, of course. Well, look. It's... Never mind. Goddamn. And Rosakia! Rosakia! What are you no. doing here? Sorry to make you come all the way down here in your con- What condition? You've done such awful things. Have you no sense of shame? It's Kristoff. What do you think? Of course not. Amusing. I understand. I'll cooperate. I'll tell you the secret of- Finally! Where did you get it from? Like I said. <laughs> Of course, Kristoff doesn't even ask where she got the power from. Although the secret of your Gios is intriguing to me. You know it's pointless, right? Give it up. He's not coming back. Yes, he is. Sorry to disappoint, my dear, but there's no such thing as trust earned through the power of Gios. That's not true, Lelouch NC2, you piece of shit. Just save yourself! <laughs> I can start over. No! Stop, please! <laughs> Why'd you fall over? <laughs> what was that? All right, I'll do it. I'll show you. My tits. Emperor Sakuya. Emperor Sakuya. That kid's voice actor was cute. Hi, Sakuya Sumanaki. Command you! That was a pretty cool shot. Ah 
Yes. Okay, so is it possible he could kill himself before the command reaches? I mean, he had to grab the gun, shoot himself before the sound reached him. Is that possible? Would she get to him first? She already had the command. This is weird because it almost implies that Lelouch couldn't have used his Gias on several people because they could have shot him first. Hmm, that's not how that works. I think you guys don't know how sound works. He's like, I came to save you, but I did it for tits. Uh, I, I still can't forgive everything you've done. Obviously. However, if he said that his daughter was kind, then she must be. So, I'll see for myself through unclouded eyes and fulfill my promise. So they finally talked about his vow to Jugo. I'm not sure why it took this long. After all, my vow was to protect you. Also, I'm glad he acknowledges the fact that Jugo saved his life. It's very important because he says he killed him, but it's only from the idea that he sacrificed his life for him. Again, from a certain point of view. So I'm glad Ash is not that stupid. If we're going to keep working together, we'll still need Rosé around. I think that you should keep up the act. He still doesn't notice that she looks like Raspberry. Sakya's face is very unique. Eh, whatever. Success! We have eliminated two of the region's terrorists. Shut up, Arnold. Ash Phoenix and the terrorists will be consigned to the oblivion they decide. I still don't know why Arnold is just, he's just, what's the point of him? And Norland's like, I don't give a shit, like everything else in the show. And North Wolf Army are gone. Most of our forces have been destroyed. Where's the Black Knight's reinforcements? Where's any reinforcements? Oh my god. I couldn't do anything. You know, they had the Z Artemis, and they didn't use it during the last battle. Rosé's not the only pilot available, you know. Um... Well, I... When you trust all of everything to a 17-year-old with no experience and no military tactics. I think there's any plan that would make a difference. <sighs> Don't stand there, feeling Clearly, Rosé is not Lelouch. I think they're trying to show that in this scene. Don't forget some have sacrificed their lives so the rest of us- She doesn't know that. She doesn't know about Iomoto. And honestly, who cares? And that sacrifice was dumb anyways. Stop, stop being like, stop trying to make sense of that crap. I think the two of you should call it a- I agree. How about call it a, a show? Going to start fresh tomorrow. We'll come up with a plan and move forward. Oda's like, I think I'm hot. Even though he's not, it's just kind of funny. Norlin knows everything. Well, sort of. He knows a little bit. Situation now. It's almost ready. What should I do? What do I- Ooh, what do you want? Good question. Are you serious? Quite serious. Meet with the United Federation of Nations. Why? I have an idea regarding that. May I handle it as I please? Go. Why is Nari even doing this? They couldn't believe my ears. Oh my I god, it's Chino! He's back! We saw the photo of him, so we do, but damn. And I am well acquainted with Norland. He oh, he knew him too, okay. And for the most part, he stayed out of the public eye. Hey, that's how they explain how we haven't seen Norlon this whole time. It's bullshit, doesn't explain Ash either, but just Norlon. We need to be prepared. Uh, Cornelia? Okay, makes sense. We cannot afford to show any- What's the point of these meetings anyways? Yeah, whatever. I'm counting on you, Sazanami. Yeah, I'll help out, whatever. If a peaceful settlement can be reached, be ideal. Oh, damn, Queer looks awesome. New hairstyle. It's certainly a tricky hand. She also has her hair rolled up like Euphemia. Everyone's paying tribute to her. That's so cute. Then does this mean that all of our efforts up until now are finally paying off? No. No. This is ridiculous! No, I agree, that outfit's stupid. I agree, the timing does seem suspicious. Hey, Haruka, do you want to say anything? You know? I guess not. She just stare to stare at her ass. That's all her purpose in the show is. If we launch the first strike, we'll be made villains for this. Please do not try to copy what Detard said about in context to the Sass Massacre. Oh, God. Jesus. Yoko. Stay away from the camera. My goodness. My goodness. See if I can't uncover whatever it is they're trying to hide. Atta boy, counting on you. What we need is big. What you need is more troops and better pilots. Oda, and you suck at both. Or Oda, you wouldn't help in either of those categories. Either of those things, sorry. And come up with a plan like usual. <laughs> yes, everyone suffered losses. It's been a complete massacre. This is all the Black Knight's fault. They fucked up. Have you thought this through? Branding yourselves neo britannian enemies. Why are they, sh like, this is not Rosé's fault. This is literally the Black Knight's fault. They shouldn't have relied on Rosé to begin with. This whole compilation doesn't mean anything. It's creating a false sense of guilt that shouldn't exist. This is my result. Yeah, right. Everything they took from us, I'll recapture. Roll credits. After all, 
This is my resolve. Like that song from Ray Ripley from WWE. This is my raw. <laughs> Forgot what the actual thing is. A few months later. <laughs> really? A time skip? Status report. Stanley, you freaky fuck. All deployments have been All right. I'm looking forward to this. So he's part cyborg? Okay. Raspberry, I mean. <laughs> I'm at the cafe when I He still hasn't figured it out? Ash, you're so dumb. I hate you. I should have gotten her contact info. Why didn't I think to He's being funny. Her. Raspberry is- Just tell her. I tell him, sorry. Oh, he did. He did. Sorry. He, he, just, t he just told her. Ash's face, though. That's pretty funny. But he's so dumb. How do you not know? From the very beginning? Yeah, Ash. It's always been her. Sorry. Those cats are cute. They also got a lot bigger because it's been a few months. Requesting partial deactivation of the Satumpe barrier. Request oh, we're going to see how the wall works. Partial deactivation confirmed. Barrier deactivated. So it really is the tower. Just blow it up. Reactivate the Satumpe. Oh my god. Look how stupid this is. Oh, I hate this show. Fuck off. Now that all delegates are... It's time for the meeting! Yay! ...towards a new peace agreement. We'll hear first from the representative of neo -Brit My name is Nara, and I'm a retard. <laughs> Mine. We would like to... Actually, we would like to start. I'm an idiot. Kaido was originally a region belonging to Japan. Its occupation is little more than a military takeover. The current stalemate has continued for quite a while, and we don't wish for it to go on. By the way, this proves, like I said earlier, that the UFN does not acknowledge Neo-Britannia. So, the whole, like, Sakura becoming the leader meant nothing, as I said earlier. First, renounce your claim to the Hokkaido block and then demilitarize. Dude, they're not gonna do that, obviously. Your move, Neil Br Wow, what a big plea. The handouts, please. Here you go. This is precisely the matter I've come to discuss. Seems they've accounted for problems arising on the Britannia. We're outplayed. How are you outplayed? What? All our claims and the material. What, what materials did they prepare? You have to, like, oh my god, fuck this. Just fuck all of this. And I'm assuming that wasn't all. What do you think, Gino? I think you're all morons. That's what he thinks. Put a lot of work into crafting this narrative. What's the narrative? You can't just... Ugh, whatever. To play the cards, we... Oh, it's, uh, Kaguya. <laughs> oh, the greatest character in the show is back. Uh, <gasps> that's it. I'm out of here. May I have a moment? Could you go consult Lady Luxembourg, who's... A First of all, Natalia's in jail now. Very well, then. I shall speak to her myself. Excuse me? What did you say? I'm talking- Huh? Why is she offended? Is this the okay. strength that you keep speaking of? Pulling a gun at her while well, Catherine's such a dumbass. Coercing others into submission through violence. You're damn right. Take what I want. That's true Not really, Catherine. <laughs> Let me touch my chest to show off my le- or teach my lessons. I don't care. I have seen what true strength looks like. When Rose uh, tried to save her. I guess so. But I also understand weakness. Uh, hey! Oh god, rule 34 has now been activated. <laughs> has been activated. <laughs> Others. You consider weak. Don't look down on others you think are weak. Oh, there's the, her parents. Not her, but Sakya's parents. Catherine's like, what the fuck was that? If we're weak, we die. Oh my god, Catherine's showing character? It's only episode 9, but hey, it's something. Oh god damn, she looks awesome there. <laughs> Neo Britannians outmaneuvered us during negotiations. The United Federation of Nations failed to. Also, me and Guilford got married. Guilford looks good though, damn. Perhaps we- No wedding rings on Cornelia's hands. I'm really sad about that. The name only. We need help. Would you consider returning to the United Federation of Nations? Why did you leave Kaya in the first place? I mean, I know why, but what the fuck was that? They still didn't explain how they outmaneuvered them. They just said they did. Oh, here comes the room buzz. Oh no, it's Millie's like twin or whatever. It's a- Suction van. Oh god, that's blood. What the? There goes the doggy, I think? No, just people. It's going after people. AI. It's been. This is what made by Chat GPD. <laughs> What's going on? I'm not sure. Gino, get in the Tristan. Now, buddy. Get in the Tristan. Do we have any visuals? The intelligence team is working to analyze surveillance feeds from each city. Oh, come on. It's 2027. How could technology be this bad? Get the fuck out of here. I'll warn you. Not great. <laughs> Why would it not be great? 
So they're attacking all around the world. How did Neil Britannia get the resources to make this many uh, Roombas? They need Sakura die, right? I mean, it's been seven years, I guess, but still, or four years. I don't know. It's so weird. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's a Roomba. What the hell? I don't know, Gino. A Roomba. I think I just told you. The United Federation of Nations has a new chairwoman, Kaguya Sumaragi. She won't be as easy to deal with. None of them should be easy to deal with. You have no, like, leverage here. Nara, what are you doing? What was that? Shoot it! I think the reason why they had the negotiations at all is because they wanted to delay time for the Roombas. But even then, still really dumb. They didn't have to do that. They could just wait a month anyways. What is going on? Is this Northern's doing? Gee, I don't know. What do you think, Dara? You dumbass. We've got it. Oh my God! It's the screw. It's the crew. I think I've done enough, son. Oh my God! They look awesome. Go. I mean, we're finally in Japan. Yeah, but it took like a million years. What are you guys doing this whole time? What is that? They look also. They look so great, though. Ugh, it's so excited to see them. And there's Akito and Layla and I know. Ugh. Oh, we're in Zilkstead. About damn time. Oh, here's Nully. Finally get a chance to see her. Kitty. Where the hell have you been this whole time, motherfucker? The whole world's going to shit, and you've been here with Nunnally doing a bunch of peace stuff? Dude, save the Okaido block. What was taking so long? Oh, here's Britannia Republic. Is Schneizo present? I don't know. Oh my god, Aldrin, Sokika. Oh, now we're in Cape Town. It's going so fast, but it's crazy. It's Mary and Orpheus. Oh, looks so good. Have they been together this whole time? How are they still alive? So many questions. Holy Jesus Christ, the whiplash in this episode. It started killing people. Where this mofo get a rocket launcher? <laughs> oh my God. Any sense. You have to believe me. These bug looking machines are swollen. Yeah, May, they're killing everyone. I mean, Rose, they're killing everyone. Listen to May. I don't know. Yeah, I got a rocket launcher. Let me fire it. <laughs> Hello? May. All right. Oh no, the explosion. Rose's face. Holy shit, what was that? This episode was insane. What the whiplash of like good to bad and, and bad to good. I just, I don't know. Anyways, that's the episode. I got a lot of things to say about it, but I'm not going to do it in this video because I want to save it for another one. But holy shit, all the people that came back, the discussions and everything, I, I, I need time to process this. Anyways, let me know what your thoughts are of episode 9 in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.